What's, What's good, good y'all? It's, it's the Doom and Shets React, and we're back, back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American Reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. All right, so we are at Wayne House and Maya. He's going to wait for it. Meet the Prime Minister of Barbados. Oh my god. I don't know what I have to say at the moment. Are you nervous? I was nervous when you meet some leaders, you know, especially leaders that are more influential in their country and out of their country and uh, knowing that um, she accepted to meet me. It's a great honor, right? So, yeah, I can't wait to meet her one-on-one -on -one and uh, at the end of the day, let's see what comes out of it. But at the moment, I'm just a bit, um, just trying to get ready for it because initially, it was just meet and greet, mm -hmm. you know? I just thought I'm gonna just see her. Oh, hi, my name is Maya. I know you village boy from Ghana and I go back. We take a photo and I go back. I just go there. She wants to talk about Africa. Some big stuff. And are you going in and shorts, shorts, a short in the top? <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? Yeah, Prime Minister. Wow, so we're going to her house, eh? That's far. Wow, oh. this is. Good morning. Hey. It's afternoon. <laughs> He's even confused. This crazy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you all doing? It's a favorite village boy, Mr. Gala Baby, right here. Should I say I'm nervous once again? No way! Yeah, yeah, kinda, a little bit. Um, I'm here to meet the Prime Minister of Barbados. And today is actually my last day in the country. I thought it's... Last day for the last time. The other time is never the last never, I never thought this day would come, but the day is here. And it's happening. And the fact that it's not even happening in his in her office, but rather her residence makes me feel so special, man. Because if someone invites you to a house, which means you are so welcomed. You know what? No time to talk too much. Let me just go and uh, I'll get back to you guys, man. Why wow, so nervous? Oh my god. <laughs> this is the before. We'll come back to the after. I'm so excited for Maya. This is crazy. So we are here. It's very quiet. Um, the only person we've seen is the guard at the gate. And that's it. Oh, wow. After. Look at Maya looking fly. Uh -oh. oh my 10 over 10. Uh oh, she hyping them up. <laughs> she hyping them up. Just give me one over 10. I see 10 over 10. I, I don't want you look so 10. sharp. I'm so proud of you, babe. Just, just give me one over 10. Ooh, okay. but you rarely dress like this though. Nah. Only only for prime ministers. <laughs> the only way to get my hair to wear an official shoe is when he's meeting a prime so minister or president. Wow. The only one. The only one. It's yeah. not true. Well, you look smashing. And wow. I, I, am, I am really offended that he didn't dress like this even for can me. Can you imagine why? No, can, can, imagine? No, can, can, can you believe that when I met Masha, it was Christmas season. Mm -hmm. So Masha was actually looking more popping than she is looking right now. <laughs> I don't even know why she's saying that I didn't dress like this for her. Because anytime I meet Masha, she's in African cloth, super late. She's How ready to go. Oh. Yeah, you guys have been saying we've been having such an amazing time in Barbados, and it's thanks to Masha. Everything. So Every, we are super grateful. Everywhere you want to go, just pick up the phone and say, Hi, Masha. And the rest is sorted. She, uh, Maya said yesterday that she's our rich aunt in yeah, Barbados. Our rich aunt in Barbados. A anything, anything that you want. But hey, just for me, don't come and say, Where's Marsha? <laughs> <laughs> the 
is allow a court the grounds of the official residence of the Prime Minister of Barbados. Okay. All right, so we'll he about, get he about to get the scoop. He about to get the scoop of his grounds he on. Yes. Okay. It's one thing to see him go across the continent, here, there, and everywhere across the African continent. And, you know, share these stories and connect African people right. to one another. But it's another thing to connect with the diaspora. Absolutely. You know, that's Absolutely. big. Like, yeah, yeah. he's going all across the Caribbean at this point, yeah. connecting. And for him to get an invite like this to the house. A personal. Yeah. Yes. I'm ready for this conversation. Um, I'm ready to see what questions he's going to ask her. I'm ready mm -hmm. to see what type of information she's going to relay back. Yeah. It's going to be some good stuff. She wants to talk about Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, officially opened in 1919. It was designed... Uh, by the wife of a former governor of Barbados. Um, and he named it Alaro uh, after a town in Nigeria. Really? Yeah, his name Alaro. So the reason that he called it Alaro, he spent time in Nigeria. Nigeria. I was so impacted by what he saw that, oh. you know, he named it Alaro Court. And it really ties back into our history with Africa. Yeah. Uh, so here we are the grounds, a um, few gazebos. We have the official residence behind us. Um, and it's been the official residence of every prime minister. Now, prime minister doesn't necessarily have to live here, but it's the official residence. So mm -hmm. over time, you've had prime ministers who did call it home, mm -hmm. and some who didn't. Uh, the current prime minister, obviously, the Honorable Mia Moore Motley, uh, she uses it more as a means to, you know, meet guests. But at the same time, from time to time, you have different organizations mm -hmm. using the grounds and learning about the history. So it's really a blend now of Barbadians coming here, mm -hmm. getting the space to experience is what right now. our court is about potentially meet with the Prime Minister and learn uh, something that can help them, obviously. Mm -hmm. We have a limited edition Rihanna book Rihanna. that she would have gifted the Prime Minister of Barbados. Hmm. So it's a catalogue of Rihanna throughout her time as an artist. Obviously, Rihanna Barbados is pretty synonymous. Mm -hmm. You've had a chance to go to Rihanna Drive. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. yes, yes. And I'm actually the cousin of Rihanna, by the way. You? I'm, a, I'm the cousin. The cousin. Oh. Is he telling the truth? I don't know. I ain't still laugh. <laughs> I ain't still laugh, so. I, I guess, like, Rihanna has touched this, and I'm also touching it. <laughs> made it to life, bro. It's so cool. Yes, and again, you'll see different representations of Barbadian history from time to time here. A lot of art pieces that come from Africa as well. The Prime Minister, once again, is really interested in that reconnection. So the PM is in already, and uh, yeah, getting ready to meet. Uh, um, so I say I'm a little bit nervous, but no, not nervous. I mean, this is one of my. I gotta do this. Man. Good to see you. Good to see you. I've been watching your stuff. I saw I couldn't meet with you on your last trip, no? no and that's good that you actually made the time to meet me this time around. Yeah. It's really yeah. a pleasure. Yeah. I've been a big fan. I, I was. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's from it's... Ghana? Yeah, from Ghana. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. Eh? You, you know chocolate? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's chocolate. I'm so glad that I'm wearing Everybody a brand that everyone knows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We met, uh, I ain't gonna say met, felt like we met him, but uh, we heard about him on, I forgot, um, about, it was um, Passport, Passport Heavy. Heavy, whenever he was experiencing um, these different locations in Ghana. Yeah. And uh, he definitely brought us to the shop, actually. He showed us how he put his work down and all that mm -hmm. stuff, and it was amazing. Like, he really do some amazing work. So, yeah. that's cool to hear his name He's still being spoken yeah, like this. We've heard it in another video, too. I want to say it was another African YouTuber mm -hmm. um, videos that we heard. Yeah. Heard it. yeah. Maybe getting around. Nice to meet you. So how's it been? Ah, so far so good. I'm just waiting for my Barbadian passport. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't know how it's going to be and how long I have to wait for it. Uh, we have a new immigration bill coming, so you'll find out soon. All oh, right. Uh, <laughs> I am really a big fan. I, I, I was supposed to meet you in um, Munich Security Conference, oh. uh, I, but I think you, you didn't come yeah, around. Exactly yeah, that, uh, because... It's too difficult. I had so many questions for you that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, when they told me that she's not coming, I'm like, oh my goodness. It's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll take two questions though. Yeah? <laughs> OK. Can I? Tell me. I, I have just two questions. Yeah, that's what I'm I, I've okay. seen you, you go to Africa a lot. Mm -hmm. 
why are you always in Africa, by the way? No, uh, why not go to Africa? I mean, we have traditionally been focused since being transplanted here on going to the North Atlantic countries. And it's about time that we bridge the Atlantic again. Mm -hmm. um, when we came to office, we made it clear that we wanted to reclaim our Atlantic destiny. Mm -hmm. um, the Atlantic is to my east, and the only thing that is between Barbados and Africa is ocean. So yep. that the most natural place to go is to Africa. Apart from anything else, historically, this is where we've come from. Culturally, this is affecting. Um, most of our values have been shaped um, by being African. Our food, our language, our behavior, our rhythm, everything. And it would be a travesty that when we have control of our own destiny. Right. Yo, she cooking. For anybody out there who have uh, rocks in their ears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need you to listen up because she's telling it like it's supposed to be told. You feel yes. me? It's important because, you know, we all share history. Regardless if y'all want to hear this or not, yeah. I don't care. This is not the channel for you if you know uh -huh. what I mean. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. For a prime minister to say this, they to don't acknowledge know. this, yeah. that is important for the diaspora to hear. Right. Because we all have a shared history. Yeah. You can't stop history where you wanted to. You can't say history only starts to begin at a comfortable part because of how mm. you want to be looked or viewed. Right, right. You got to acknowledge the entirety of it. Mm -hmm. And your hand, like I said, just get the rocks out your ears, man. Right. Let her cook. She cooking. That we don't seek to correct the wrong things and to ensure that we can bridge the gap. How so are we about. bridging the gap? by literally trying to make sure that first of all we bring awareness mm -hmm. the second thing that we need to do and we're trying to work on that now is how do we create the opportunities for transport uh, you go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back what what, what? for creating what, what? awareness oh okay for, for impacting too. the people you yeah you know what i'm you saying too. good job good bring job awareness. yes ma'am yes ma'am <laughs> or my people should not need to apply for a transit visa to come and visit one another and if you uh, deny the transit visa in the US or the UK or Europe, then we are becoming victims of our own territories. Yeah. So that we need as independent countries to be able to determine that we can control where we go, how we go, when we go. Yeah. And therefore, the modalities of transport have to be conquered. If we can do that for people, then we can do it for goods. That's a lot. We, we, I think we need more yeah. Africa and Caribbean connection. Absolutely. Because That's I, when I, what you're doing, aren't you? No, I'm trying my best. It's and it's more like a job. oh wow. <laughs> take it. And take this it. is a fun. Day. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the end of the video. But I don't <laughs> Your Excellency, I'm so sorry. I mean, I, I, I call me Mia, please. Oh wow, Mia. Wow, jeez, first name. Wow. Okay. I don't know what to say now. <laughs> <laughs> we personally. I think the connection between Africa and the Caribbean mm -hmm. should not be too diplomatic sometimes because I feel like the ordinary Africans really don't know what is happening in that's the Caribbean. Why, that's why you are important because it can't only be at the level of governments. Right. It can't only be at the level of big business. It has to be at the level of... If you are a descendant of the transatlantic slave trade, you don't have to wait on it to be on a federal level. You don't have to wait on a conference. You, you don't have to wait on these things to speak on these topics. You, you don't have to be tapped in. Right. You don't right. have to have a platform. You don't have to have a big following. You don't have to have these numbers. You bridge the gap. That's what it's about. When we go on the African continent, we're representing as a group, right? Mm -hmm. We're not representing everybody. Of course, we represent our family, but because we are African Americans, we're representing that group. It will be some people's first time meeting an African American. Right, right. So yeah, you yeah. are bridging that gap. Us being on this platform, speaking to people around the world, we're a representation. Yes, sir. You know, so. Yes, ma'am. Oh, nah, I just be saying yes. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> it's just my speech. It's how I be cooking. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But yeah, I got exactly what you're saying. Yeah. So like, I'm full. 
that they're gonna be being full again. Yeah. I'm full because there's so much I can say. Y'all know we say little bits and pieces all the time, but you know, but it's it's no benefit in talking down when the Same, agenda baby. is to be bridging the gap. It's coming Doing out of fire. her mouth like you're supposed to be bridging the gap. I really respect what it might for this video. He's brought mm -hmm. us all to this table yeah, yeah. to hear out of the word, out of her mouth herself mm -hmm. about how important it is to mm -hmm. bridge the gap. You right, know what I'm right. saying? Um, and how important it is to know your history. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and I just think as long as we're listening and we're taking in the information, it's not about how high you are mm -hmm. or what level you are on or what mm -hmm. how, how much money you have, how much you know anything. Whatever it is that you're doing to display the the the, the information and the knowledge that's needed, it don't matter where you at in life as long as you're saying something and you're putting light on it and you're not trying to get people to be numb to love you know what i'm saying yeah stop stop focusing on the naysayers and, and the hate the the oh those people don't like us stop focusing on stuff like that if you no, haven't no. had that encounter yeah. and if you did have one encounter don't let that be the premise to you not wanting to further connect with a whole group of people. You can't let two people be the representation for an entire group. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just Absolutely. like if people had a bad bad thoughts about us, okay, you don't like us, whatever, but that's not going to stop them from going to another reaction channel. Right, 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 right. Ordinary people. If you go and ask Bajans what movies they were watching seven, eight, nine years ago, they'll tell you it's a lot of the Nollywood movies Nollywood, from right. Nigeria. Nollywood. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. ordinary people. Um, but can the ordinary people get across the Atlantic? No, they can't. They're the ones who are being denied the transit visas. They're the ones who may want to come, but cannot come because you can't get there. So we've got to create the bridges, the sea bridges and the um, air bridges in order to let people and goods flow. But you don't think we need that direct flight? That's what I'm talking about. But, but I'm saying it's, 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 it's taking, it's taking quite yeah, a long time. But you have to have people on both sides ready to it. And we're prepared to invest in the marketing, but we need people on the other side of the Atlantic also ready to do it. Because while we say we want it, as you know, you have to promote and market. Hmm. If you don't promote and market, the seats will be what? Empty. Empty. And if the seats are empty, the flights will be cancelled. Mm -hmm. So it's that mechanism. But there's also a very technical problem. One of the things that happened in the last few years with COVID and the stopping of movement of planes, the same number, is that a lot of airlines are in fact awaiting planes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of airlines are awaiting access to time to train pilots on the simulators. So in a very real sense, even though we want to move with pace mm -hmm. and haste, we're still constrained by what is available in terms of both planes as well as pilots. Don't you think it's about time we have the Caribbean as a seat in the African Union? Well, we well, already recognized as part of the sixth region of yeah. the diaspora. And as you know, we started the CARICOM AU yeah. conferences, um, was it two years ago? Yeah. yeah. And then in the last year, that painting came from us, from the president of the Africa Exim Bank on his first oh. visit. Yeah. And in less than 18 months, we were able to have the first Africa-Caribbean trade and investment forum here. Mm -hmm. We had the second one in Guyana a few yeah. months yeah. ago yeah. in yeah. October. Um, we've been able to have the Africa Exim Bank establish its offices here in Barbados as regional headquarters. Um, we are now working with other banks in Africa who want to be able to establish in the Caribbean. The door is open. And that's where you'll see it start first because if people are comfortable with banks that they know, just like Republic Bank is in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. Republic it's Bank a big is move. a that's smart. entity. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, and, and just as they're there, people will feel comfort with those institutions and brands that they know. So mm -hmm. we only see more and more activity happening. Um, we were constrained by COVID. Had we not had COVID, I think we would be much further ahead. Um, but the movement of information, the movement of people, that's where it's at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Information. Thank, Thank you, you so my much. brother. Thank you. Can and I? When you're coming back for crop over? Yeah, I'll come back for crop over, depending on Masha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he put it on Masha. Invitation for Masha. Oh, wow. Full stop. I'll be yeah. here. Because crop over is different. 
Oh, okay. You know, you were here for the Christmas, culture. the crop is completely different. Yeah, I'll come for and when you're coming, you can tell a whole set in Ghana to come to. <laughs> come on, man. It's going to be a real Thank party. You. Thank you. Can Take I get a photo? Of course. Hello. Good to meet Trudy. you, my dear. How are you? Thank you. That was really a quick one. But it was so worth it because it was more like a, a meet and greet because she's so busy so she decided to give us some five minutes with her, which I appreciated a lot. And I mean, the way she was even talking to me, it felt like uh, I'm talking to a friend because she's also a fan. My goodness, knowing that the Prime Minister is a fan of you, bro. I've made it in life. <laughs> Come on, yeah. man. She was talking to me like she watches my videos. So. <laughs> She says she watches your video, not like she watches it, she does. All right, y'all, we're going to stop it right there, man. Make sure you guys go check his channel out. Yeah. yeah, again, I really enjoyed the fact that he brought us to this table today. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We really got to, you know, get gems and hear real conversations on things that a lot of us speak about today, you know? so. Yes, yes. It starts with us. It does. It does. don't need nothing, no glamour, no none of that. It starts with you. Mm hmm Okay. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.